Doc Favors here. Uh, welcome to Creating a Life of Freedom with Doc Favors. I uh, want to say, well, first off, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers, to the family, to the community. We appreciate you. We don't take it lightly that you're here. And for all of you all who continue to support what we're doing, man, I'm going to tell you all, um, before I get into today's content, we are getting some great results. We're getting great feedback from the book. Uh, our new book is out, you all. And uh, we're just, you know, excited about it. You know what I'm saying? You go to myfavors.com, creating a life of freedom, change your financial landscape with these four moves. But most importantly, guys, uh, we're seeing change in people. Uh, we do all of this for the community's sake. You all have to remember, I was really talking about nothing but money and finances, investing in the crypto space and so on and so forth. And then I decided to pivot because I had so many of you all you know, lose within a particular uh, business that we were all in, right? And it just bothered me. And so at the end of the day, guys, what we, what I want to talk to you all tonight about is, is that your life philosophy is very important to what you're doing in life. And what do I mean by that? Have you ever found yourself or wondered why is it that you don't get favored? Uh, why is it that you can't just break through? You can't just crack the ceiling Every time you turn around, something is going wrong, but you you can sense it, right? You can even feel it. You can discern it. But for some reason, just can't seem to do anything about it, you know? Uh, it, it could be you all. It could be a direct connection to your philosophy. Now, let me break this down for a quick minute. Man. This is going to be a short video, but it's going to be powerful if you pay attention to what I'm saying. Your philosophy, you all, first of all, philosophy is considered... First of all, a branch of study, right? Knowledge and things of that nature. Uh, but when you really just break it down to the simplistic, it's basically your underlying guiding principles, right? Your underlying beliefs, the things that, that guide you in life. So you make your decisions based upon your philosophy, whether you realize it or not, okay? So then your life philosophy, like I'll give you one of mine, and this has been one of my life philosophies for years, you all. It's kind of corny though, but you all just, just catch what I'm going to tell you. So obviously my last name is Favors, right? So I tend to use my last name a lot. You know, people in my circle, they don't call me Mike, y'all. They call me Favors, Doc, you know, Pops. But where I'm from in my real inner circle, it's Faves. Pick up the phone, what's up, Fay? Because they used to hear me say it all the time. I would even call my wife Favors. Well, yeah, I hardly ever call my wife by her first name when it's she and I talking to one another. Favors, well, yeah, favors what you're doing. And it, 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 it dawned on me one day, you all, that my life philosophy is simply this, get favor and give favor. You say, well, that's good for you, your last name favors, but at the end of the day, you can use it as well. But think about that for a moment. If I get favor or if I give favor and the good book tells us that you reap what you sow, if I sow seeds of favor all the time, then I expect, here's the thing, I expect to get favor. So the way I make decisions is not necessarily on the circumstances, but on the amount of favor that I expect to get. Y'all don't hear me right now. And you say, well, man, Doc Favors. Now that's kind of interesting because if you, if your life philosopher say, you know what, doing to others that you would have them do unto you, uh, just be kind and generous, you know, uh, love hard and love consistently, you know, anything, whatever it is, your, your, your life philosophy is the thing that allows your subconscious mind to make those decisions quickly. And here's the reason why I'm going to break this down for you. When you talk about philosophy, you all, when you think about the philosophy, just as I said it right there, it automatically triggers something in your mind and you automatically start to think. So when you change your philosophy, it literally changes your process of thinking, your thought process, right? If it's a positive philosophy, then guess what? Then it's going to be a positive way of thinking. If it's a negative philosophy, you got a lot of people you are who are just negative because of their because of their environment and their culture, you know, uh, the, and, and where they stand, the people they hang around, just negative. Uh, it, I mean, I used to be a part of it. I remember it all too well, man. You go somewhere and I even asked one person, man, how come everything you say is negative all the time? I mean, that's why I don't even want to come around you sometimes. You're just so negative all the time. It's not like you correcting me or teaching or instructing. I know teachable moments. I, I'm, I do teachable moments. But still, man, if you're going to rebuke and correct, you still have to encourage. 
Now, that's the good book for sure. So anyway, philosophy causes you to think. Now, when you think, and I'm giving you all a piece of the first, uh, the first lesson we teach in our program, but when you think and you have your philosophy in place, it causes you to think, then the next thing you know, your, your standard has to increase because you start making decisions based upon the way you're thinking, which is based upon your philosophy. So there are certain things in life that I will and will not do because of my standard. There are certain places I won't go, certain people I won't associate with. It's okay for you if you want to. Hey, I, I, don't, I don't judge, I'm not a judge or jury, but I'm just saying for me in my life, in order for me to, to, to function at a capacity of a high level, I, I have to be mindful of where I go, who I'm talking to, how long I'm talking to, how long I'm at this establishment. Those are my standards. And because my standards is as such, it affords me to write and rewrite the story of my life in terms of my life success story. Okay. And from the story, it breeds my identity. So when you see favors, who's confident, I'm confident because I'm walking into a room or walking into a space, getting ready to go do a negotiation or whatever, because I expect to get favor because I give favor. That's my philosophy. And because I'm expecting to get favor, my standard is high. I act like my standard. My story backs it up because I got examples and, and, and you know, testimonies about the favor and about how we've given favor. So it helps change the story of my life, my success story. And, and guess what? My identity walks hand in hand with that. And then there go the results, guys. Philosophy is everything, good people. I want you to understand that. So with that being said, if you all want some homework or something, let me coach you for, five, for about five, 15 seconds. Take time to write down your philosophy statement for your life. Because even in business, I expect to get favor in business deals. I expect to get favor when I go and buy a new car. I expect to get favor when I'm negotiating a deal. <laughs> I'm serious, you all. I expect it, and, and it happens. It's, hey, it happens, and I believe it happened for you too. So take, a, take some time, write down your life philosophy statement, right? And of course, after you write that down, go through this piece. See how your philosophy affects your way of, your way of thinking. And then if it's not good enough, if it doesn't match your, if, if your philosophy does not match your, match your goals, then tweak it a little bit. Change your philosophy to match where you're going, not where you come from, okay? That alone right there will change your mindset, especially about success, money, uh, you know, promotions on your job or whatnot, and it'll be an overall blessing for you. But most importantly, you all, get tough life philosophy under attack. And, and sometimes you have to change it. I mean, I got a few of them. That's just one I share with you all. So it's okay to have several, but most importantly, be moving in the direction. So with that being said, you all, once again, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, uh, share the transmission, share this video with some people who you know that may be wrestling with the subject. As always, uh, you all, please drop your boy a comment down below. Let me know if this is helping you, if you thought about it, if you never looked at it this way or whatnot. You know, just drop your boy a line down there. And then most importantly, you all, let's stay positive on purpose and not by accident. See, that's one of my philosophies right there. <laughs> stay positive on purpose. It's hard to argue with somebody who's staying positive, man. Like, for real. I, yeah, so positive on purpose. Don't worry about the haters. They hating behind you. Then you ain't got to look back to deal with them. You keep pressing forward towards the mark. And this is your boy Faze. I'll see you all next time, okay? And lastly, this is my third closing. Don't forget to check out the video that's going to be here or here or wherever it pop up you all. I'll leave some links. The Masterclass series. I'm getting good reviews. People are actually emailing me saying, hey, how can they get and pay for that class? And I'm like, yo, that's a free joint. All you got to do is go to the playlist in my YouTube and it's for free. So don't forget to check out those video series and we'll see you next time.